Hi guys, this time I'll show you how to make this handbag. It is made with only single crochet stitches and is perfect for a night out. If you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed yet and you like what you see, then you can click the red subscribe button and the bell button next to it so you never miss another video. If you have a question or an idea for the next tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. For this tutorial, I use ice yarns. It is the summer sale, so there isn't a name on the label, but it is 60% uh, cotton and 40% polyamide. The color is blue, black, white. It is 50 grams, 150 meters. And I guess it is a number two yarn. How many skeins I used, I put it in the description box down below, or you can find it in the pattern. The free rhythm pattern is on the website. The link to the website is in the description box down below. Then I use two zippers. These are 20 centimeters or about eight inches. But you can make the bag as big or as small as you like, but then you need more yarn, obviously, or less yarn than I use. I use a three and a half millimeter crochet hook and a strap. This one I cut from an old handbag, but you can also crochet yourself a strap. That is totally fine. You can choose what you like most. And we also need a two millimeter crochet hook to start with the zipper. Let's start. Okay, we work the bag from top to bottom and we start at the zipper. The other zipper we attach it later on. To start, we... And that's why you need a small hook so you can poke a hole in the zipper. And I insert it in the middle of the zipper. You have a line here. I hope you can see it. And there we poke our holes. We make a row of slip stitches all the way around the zipper. And we follow the line and try to space them evenly so your stitches look nice. Because we use a smaller hook for attaching the yarn and make the stitches directly on the zipper, we need to make them very loose because we switch from the two millimeter to three and a half. So insert your hook in the corner. And when you and if you think it is easier to work when you open the zipper, then you can open the zipper. That is up to you. And then we make a slip knot. Grab the slip knot with your hook, pull tight, and pull through. And this is a, a very annoying part. But once you have this out of the way, then it will be much easier. Okay, and then insert in the, in the, the zipper. Grab the yarn, pull up a loop, and pull the loop on the hook through the other loop on your hook, through the slip stitch. So you now have your first stitch. Then move a little bit to the left or to the right. Insert your hook on the line, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, and pull the loop through the loop on your hook. And you see you create some stitches here. Jump and poke a new hole, 
wrap your yarn, pull up a loop, and pull the loop through the loop on your hook. Move to the left, pull up, poke a hole, wrap your yarn, pull your yarn through, and pull it, pull it through the loop on your hook. Try to make your stitches the same size, so when you poke a new hole, keep the distance the same all the way around and keep your tension the same all the way around so your stitches will be nice and the same, all the same and through the loop on your hook insert through the zipper wrap your yarn pull up and pull through the loop on your hook and every once in a while lay your work flat on the table and then you can see if it is nice and flat when your work starts or your zipper starts to ripple then your stitches are too tight and when this don't lay nice and flat on the zipper then your stitches are too loose so make sure your zipper lay flat and your stitches lay flat on top of your zipper okay so poke hole grab pull up a loop and pull the loop through the loop on your hook and you see i made my stitches a little too tight here because my zipper starts to ripple so i need to work looser than this work this making slip stitches all the way to just before the end then i'll meet you back and show you how to cross over to this side and then work your way this way and how you close the round so work your way to the end just before the end and then i'll meet you back I'm at the end of this side of the zipper and you can see I make my stitches too tight. And then this happens, you get a curve in your zipper. So try to make your stitches loose so this don't happen. When you are at the end then we turn the zipper around and then we insert the hook on the other side so straight across on the other side poke your hook through pull up a loop and pull the loop through the loop on your hook and then you see you have crossed over to the other side and then you can work your way along this side of the zipper work slip stitches to this side and just before the end just like you did here exactly the same we stop and then I'll meet you back and show you how to connect those two ends I'm at the end of the other side of the zipper and here you can see clearly that I make my stitches a little bit too tight so I have a piece of bacon <laughs> well it is handmade so yeah it isn't perfect so I think for me this is okay but if you think this is not okay then try to make your stitches loose so this this doesn't happen so the last step is to make these two together like on this side so this side we and if you think it's easy you can open your zipper then insert in the first stitch so in the slip stitch on the other side so the first stitch you made then yarn over pull through and pull through the loop on your hook and then you closed the top 
For the other zipper, you do exactly the same thing. So work around, but then you don't work the last and the beginning pieces, but cross over, but cross over where the plastic, so the end is, and leave those ends out and at the beginning the same. So you work right before the zipper instead of working all the way to the end. And then that zipper you can bind off when you worked all the way around. Bind off and cut your yarn, weave in your end and then place it aside for later on in the pattern. Okay, for this part we need to switch our hooks from the two millimeter to the three and a half. So do that and then insert in the stitch and you see you can pick up both loops on your hook but you can also choose to oops, insert in the back loop only. So you have a front loop and a back loop and insert in a back loop only and that's what I'm going to do only for the first round. So insert in the back loop and make a single crochet. So you have a front loop and a back loop, insert in the back loop only, single crochet, front loop, back loop, and a single crochet, front loop, back loop, and a single crochet. So you can use the whole stitch or use the back loop only that is totally up to you so work single crochet stitches in every stitch around until you are at the last stitch and then i'll meet you back and maybe you think it is helpful to put in a stitch marker in the first stitch then you can do that to know where you start your round So keep working, making single crochet stitches in the back loop only, all the way around. And when you are at your last stitch, then I'll meet you back and show you how to move on. I worked my way around with single crochets in the back loop only. And now I am at the beginning again, so I can take out the stitch marker. And now you can choose to uh, keep working in the back loops only, so you can make the whole back using the back loops only or you pick up the whole stitch now. We don't close our rounds, so we keep working in spirals. I'm working two loops from now on, so don't make the back loops only, but I pick up both loops. So And then single crochet, put your stitch marker in the first stitch, so you know this is the stitch you start your round with, and then make single crochets in every stitch around. Don't close the rounds, but keep working in the rounds and keep working until this part is one inch or two and a half centimeters. And then I'll meet you back. Okay, I worked up two and a half centimeters or oh, about one inch all the way around. So it should look like this. And now it is time to attach the other zipper. You see I worked a round of slip stitches around this one as well. Only here I started and ended where the zipper starts and ends. So I didn't include the beginning and the end of the zipper. So place your work straight on the table. You see mine still bends a little bit because I made my beginning stitches too, too tight. So place your work straight, then put your zipper in the middle so that you have the same amount 
of stitches on this side as you have on that side. So I need four on this side and then I have my first and then one, two, three, four and my first on this side. So that is how we are attaching this zipper. How we are going to do that. We want the side where we open the zipper at the same side as the top. So if your zipper opens at this side, then you need to attach this one also with the opening on that side. So first we make four stitches. In my case it is four stitches, maybe it's in your case it is a, li a little bit more stitches or less. I made the first stitch, so I need three stitches more. So three single crochet stitches, one, two, and three. And now we attach the zipper. For the next stitch we pick up the front loop of the stitch. So this is when you pick up the whole stitch, front and back loop. For, the, for this part we pick up only the front loop. Then pick up your zipper and we use only the stitches on this side of the zipper. So we have a side stitch here, we don't use that one, but we use the first stitch on this side and also pick up only the front loop. And then grab your yarn, pull through and pull through. We make a slip stitch. So here you see the next stitch. We pick up the front loop and the next stitch on the zipper. We also pick up the front loop. So two front loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop and pull the loop through the loop on your hook to make a slip stitch. Next stitch, front loop, back loop, pick up only the front loop, next stitch on the zipper, front loop, back loop, pick up only the front loop. So two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through and pull through to make a slip stitch. Next stitch front loop and pick up the front loop on this side and make a slip stitch. Front loop, front loop and make a slip stitch. And then you see you get a nice edge around your zipper. So front loop, front loop, and slip stitch. So repeat that until you used up all stitches on this side of the zipper. So don't use the side stitch, but stop at the last stitch of this side. When you attach this whole side to the back, then I'll meet you back. Okay, the last stitch on the zipper is attached to the back. So this is what it looks like. And now we make single crochet stitches all the way around until you are at the stitch marker again. So we don't use the zipper anymore. We just insert in the next stitch under the two loops and make a single crochet, just like you did before. Two loops, single crochet in every stitch around until you are at stitch with the stitch marker. I work my way around and I am 
add the stitch for the stitch marker again so add my first stitch and now we make a single crochet in the first stitch put in the stitch marker and then make a single crochet in the next three stitches or in the amount of stitches you made before you started to attach your zipper for me that was four including the stitch with the stitch marker like this so i now made four single crochet stitches and now we attach the side of the zipper to the back so we insert in the front loop of the side so you have the front and the back loop so insert in the front loop and make a slip stitch to attach and then turn your work now we work single crochet stitches do the stitch with the stitch marker again so this is my first single crochet two three and number four is the one with the stitch marker take it out again the stitch marker back in so you know this is your first stitch and now we are at the back of our bag and here we need to make a place where we can attach the flap in the end so after you made the stitch with the stitch marker we work all the way to the other side until you are at the corner again so we don't work the corner but the last stitch before the corner this whole row we make single crochet in the front loop only so we work the stitch and then we have a front loop and a back loop and we work the front loop only and then a single crochet front loop back loop front loop only single crochet so work the front loops only across the back until you are at the end of the back and then arm into your back so front loops only until the end of this this side of the back and then arm into your back Okay, I worked single crochet stitches in the front loop only all the way along the back, the back of the bag. And now we make normal single crochets until you reach the zipper on the front. So under two loops again. work single crochets until you are at the last stitch at the zipper single crochet and now pick up you see here the side stitch pick up the front loop of the side stitch so the first of the two loops I make a slip stitch like this and then turn your work now we work single crochet stitches in every stitch across along the back until you are at the stitch with the stitch marker again and then I'll show you how to finish the bottom of your back so make single crochet stitches just using 
both loops all the way across until you reach the stitch with a stitch marker. And if you are at the stitch with the stitch marker, then I'll meet you back. I am at the stitch with the stitch marker. Where's my yarn here? You can take out the stitch marker, make a single crochet in that stitch. Put back the stitch marker. And now we are going to attach the other side of the zipper. So work single crochet stitches until you One, two. Okay. And now we start at this side of the zipper. And here is the side stitch. We already used that. So pick up the back loop of the stitch on this side. Yarn over, pull up a loop and make a single crochet. You have a, a front loop and a back loop, pick up the back loop and single crochet. Front loop, back loop, pick up the back loop, single crochet. Back loop, single crochet. back loop, single crochet. So work single crochets in the back loop only all the way across until you are at the last stitch on this side of the zipper. And then I'll meet you back and show you how to work the rest. I have one stitch left on this side, so back loop only single crochet and now we jump to the normal stitches and make single crochets in every stitch around using both loops Like this and then your work should look like this and now it is really simple just keep working single crochet stitches in the round without closing the rounds working both loops all the way around so when you are at the stitch marker again take it out make a new first stitch put back in your stitch marker and then work single crochet stitches using both loops round after round until your work is the height you like maybe you want a short handbag then at about five inches or maybe you want a bigger handbag then make more rounds so keep working around until the height you like and then i'll meet you back i work my back the length I like the width I like and now before we close the bottom we start by making the inside of the bag so when you open your zippers this big zipper there is a big compartment already but when you open the little zipper it has the same space as the big zipper so we need to make two compartments so I made one with fabric let me see if I can show you. There are two options. You can make one out of fabric, like I did. So you cut a rectangle of fabric. I need to close the sides. And then attach it to the zipper on this side and to the zipper on that side. So let me show you on the one I didn't 
worked yet. You see here the zipper and then you work, you attach one half on this side and the other half on this side and then close the sides and then you have made a pocket. Then close the sides and then this is uh, done. When You can also make this with yarn, so you can crochet a pocket. So then this, skip this part and then attach your yarn on the back of your zipper and make single crochets all the way around. Don't close your rounds just like you did for the outside and work rounds of single crochets just until, and until your work is the length you need and then you close the bottom with slip stitches and then your pocket is done. So you can choose make a pocket out of fabric or crochet a pocket for the zipper at the front of your purse. And if you want to crochet it, then pick up the stitches on the back of your zipper all the way around and keep crocheting in around, making single crochets in every stitch until your pocket is the size you need. And then close the bottom with slip stitches. So two options to make the pocket, choose the one you like the most and then we start to close the bottom. And to close the bottom you need to flip your bag inside out and then pick up your loop. I didn't buy enough and if you didn't buy enough as well then you can pick up the loop. Or reattach your yarn and then I hope you see what I do so pick up the first loop on this side the first stitch and the first stitch on the other side and then make a single crochet or make a slip stitch that's totally up to you so next stitch on this side next stitch on that side and single crochet or slip stitch this side, same stitch on the other side, and slip stitch. So when you are done, at the end, bind off and weave your end, and then turn your work right side out. Choose what you want. If you want a fabric compartment, then make it out of fabric. And if you want to crochet it, then crochet at the stitches and make rounds. Of single crochet until the width you like and then close the bottom with bottom with slip stitches or single crochet stitches just as you do for the bottom of your purse then flip your work right side out and then I'll meet you back to show you how to attach the strap and make a flap if you want that then I show you how to do that so make your compartment and close the bottoms and then I'll meet you back when your bottom is closed, then it is time to make the flap if you want one. If you want to leave it like this, that's also fine. But if you want to make the flap, then turn your work around. And you see here the line where you used one loop only. So you see here, I don't know if you can see it very well. So here you see the line. Where we attach our flap. So find your first stitch on this side. Here is mine and then make a slip knot. Grab it with your hook, pull through and chain one and pull tight so we now attached our yarn so we make one single crochet in every loop across the back and then at the end we work our way back so insert under the first loop so where you attach your yarn Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So this is your first single crochet. Then find your second loop, 
insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through, two loops on your hook, insert in the next loop, and make a single crochet. Repeat until the end of this row, so until the end of the loops. on this side. So make single crochets in every loop across until you are at the last one and then I'll show you how to move on. I've worked every loop across the back and now we chain one, turn our work and then work a single crochet in every stitch. So in the first stitch insert in the both loops and make a single crochet. Then the next stitch Insert under both loops and make a single crochet and make a single crochet in every stitch across. When you are at the end of this row, then chain one, turn your work and work your way back. Keep working in rows of single crochet until this flap. So the flap starts here and then when you turn your work around when your flap covers the bottom of the second zipper so work single crochets in rows until the flap covers this part until the bottom of the second zipper then I'll meet you back and show you how to work the rest of the flap so keep working in rows, making one single crochet in every stitch, a chain one, turn your work, and then work your way back until the work covers the zippers, and then I'll meet you back. Okay, my flap is covering both of the zippers, so now it is time to decrease on the sides, and you decrease until you are, until you think the flap is the size you like. So we, I've already chained one, turn the work and then insert in the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop two loops on your hook leave those two loops on your hook and insert in the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop now three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook this is a single crochet two together and this is the way we decrease in the beginning so Every next row, you make a single crochet two together in the beginning and at the end of each row. So make single crochets in every stitch across. And when you have two stitches left, then I'll meet you back. I have two stitches left. So insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Insert in the next stitch, so the last stitch of your row. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. So we end the row with a single crochet two together as well. So from now on, start every row with a single crochet two together and end every row with a single crochet two together until you think your flap is the size you want so one more time the single crochet two together chain one turn your work and then insert in the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop two loops on your hook insert in the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook to finish your single crochet two together then work normal single crochet stitches in every stitch across until you have two stitches left and there you make another single crochet two together then chain one turn your work and repeat that row row after row until you think your your flap is the size you want so i think i work until about here maybe a little bit lower but you can 
make it as long or as short as you like. So keep working, making single crochet stitches in every stitch across and making a single crochet two together at the beginning and at the end of every row and work until you think your flap is the size you want. And then I'll meet you back. I finished my flap. I stopped here when I have one and a half inch at the bottom or three to four centimeters. So that is the length I like. And then it looks like this. We now finish the border of the flap. And then you have an option to close the bag. You can use something like this, a magnet. You need to leave an opening at the bottom of your purse so you can attach this on your purse. And this goes here. And you need a lining at the flap when you choose this one. Or you can use push buttons. So make one here and then you see it through here. That's also pretty nice. Or you can leave it like this. That is also an option. So choose the way you want to close your bag. And then we finish the flap. Therefore, you cut your yarn. And bind off the yarn over. Pull through, all the way through and pull tight. So you bind off your yarn and then we find the beginning where you start your flap beginning row and then you insert your hook in the first row like this so here then make a slip knot just like you did before grab it with your hook pull tight and pull through and then chain one to secure and then you can pull it tight again and then we make one row of single crochet stitches all the way across the side this side the front and the other two sides and we make one single crochet in every row here yeah, we can use the stitches and then one single crochet in every row again until we are at the end. So I turn my work so you can hopefully you can see it better. So where you attach your yarn, insert your hook again, pull up a loop, and yarn over pull through two. I work over my tail at the same time so I don't have to weave it in in the end. We go to the next row, find two loops at the side, try to pick up two loops so your border is nice and secure. And then single crochet. Next row, pick up two loops and single crochet. Next row, Two loops on your hook, single crochet. And so this is it. Work this all the way around, just making single crochets. And I'll meet you back when we are at the end. So repeat this all the way around. You can, you can use stitches on this side and the rows on the other four sides. 
when you did your whole flap then I'll meet you back and show you the last step I worked my way around I'm at the end of the flap then you can cut your yarn yarn over pull through and a pull tight weave in this end and by making the border of single crochet you make it lay nice and flat so choose if you want to attach a push button to close it or uh, use the magnets to close it or leave it like this that is also an option or you can crochet a little loop and then a button so you can close it like that that are all options and just pick what you prefer if you are done then you can close the rest of the bottom if you haven't done that already and then um, you can bind off weaving that end as well the last thing we need to do is attach your strap you can leave it like this and hold it like a clutch or you can attach the strap you can attach it on this side with some stitching and then make sure your strap isn't twisted and then attach it on the other side as well you can sew it straight on the back or you can use these two when you open them up you can put it through the back where you can push through your strap and then sew it together like this you can leave it like this so without a strap you can sew the strap straight on the back or you can find some steel rings which you can pull through your bag and then you can pull the strap through and then sew it like this on both sides make sure your strap isn't twisted and then you are all done and then you see the end result here if you like this tutorial give me a thumbs up if you want to ask a question let me know in the comments down below if you have an id for an next tutorial also let me know in the comments and if you aren't subscribed yet then you can click the red subscribe button and the bell button next to it so you never miss another video hope to see you next time bye